Evening everybody from Leeds Bradford Airport, Yorkshire's airport indeed. So I need to be in Dublin first thing in the morning and ordinarily I'd have gone via Heathrow to collect the tier points and the Avios points with British Airways. If you've followed the channel for a while you'll know that I'm a big One World fan. That said I wanted to mix things up and do things a little bit differently this evening so I'm on the direct flight to Dublin and if you've not guessed this already, that's right, I grew a pair to fly Ryanair. So let's go and see what it's all about. When I first started using this airport regularly, many years ago, it was on the British Midland DC-9s between here and London Heathrow. They were the good old days of travel. Leeds Bradford Airport provides fine dining experiences such as Burger King and the Camden Food Company. Let's talk lounges ladies and gentlemen. Here at Leeds Bradford there are three to choose from and as regular followers of this channel will know there's nothing I like more at an airport than a really good priority pass lounge. As a young, eager corporate stooge, I remember getting the BMI Diamond Club silver card and being wowed by the Diamond Club lounge here at LBA, as well as at Belfast International. Sadly, those days are long gone, but LBA has done a great job developing these new lounges. The Yorkshire lounge is £26.95 and offers buffet food. The White Rose lounge, which is where we are here today, is £31.95 and has slightly better food and is the lounge that you'll be using, if like me, you have priority pass or status with British Airways. For hot made to order food, you'll want the 1432 Club Lounge, costing £36.95. You should note that all lounges have runway views. Boarding today through gate 5 was an odd experience. The queue on the left is for those with priority boarding and strangely the queue on the right is for those who don't have priority boarding. As is usual in my experience with Ryanair, you'll queue either at an airport staircase or as I did in this cold corrugated roof thing. That said, punctuality is the name of the game with Ryanair. Now seated, I'm delighted to see that the seats provide OK legroom and don't recline. Ryanair has a huge selection of drinks and snacks to buy on board. To see the selection, just download the app, but do that before the flight takes off because Ryanair doesn't provide any form of Wi-Fi on board. As you can see, it's a grim night here at Leeds Bradford Airport, but we're pushing back on time. And whilst this isn't one of the newer Space Interior 737s, the blue hue is nice.
the cabin lights back on, it's time for cabin service to begin. Service was fast and before I knew it, this 37 minute flight was nearing completion. At this stage, I'll pipe down while we land. So hi folks, I'm back. I'm now at my Premier Inn Hotel here at Dublin Airport for the very short stay I've got. I've got a very early start tomorrow morning for my next flight, which you'll see in a future video. So I just wanted to recap some thoughts on Ryanair and what I liked about it. So this flight was £19.99, including the seat selection, which was excellent value for money. The flight pushed back on time. It was on a relatively new Boeing 737-800 series, and the crew were cheerful. Ryanair is clearly set up for high revenue, low cost. As soon as the aircraft was pushing back, the crew were telling us about the array of things that I could buy on board this evening. Um, but if that keeps fares down, that's fine. The other thing I really liked about the aircraft is that the seats don't recline. And being somebody who's uh, over six foot tall and not the thinnest person in the world, that's an absolute godsend when I realised that nobody could push the seat back in front of me. That's quite controversial, as I found out when I made that comment on Flyer Talk a few years ago, and I got a barrage of abuse back telling me that just because I thought the seats couldn't recline, that was a very selfish viewpoint. That's my viewpoint, and you clearly will have your own view, but let me tell you, it's absolutely great that nobody could push the seat back in front of me, because the seat pitch on any airliner, whether it's Ryanair or British Airways or whoever, in economy is really tight these days. So, um, overall... Tonight's flight was a positioning flight for me, so it's not a flight I would normally have taken. But would I go back to Ryanair? Yeah, definitely. If I could get it at the right price, and certainly, let's face it, 20 quid including your taxes and seat selection fee is the right price. So, on that note, I'll say thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.